very quick video to show you how you can get back your old models on OpenAI's ChatGPT. This works primarily for paid users, but you can try this if you're a free user as well. People have been going bonkers because OpenAI suddenly deprecated a lot of models and especially on Reddit, people are just venting out that 4o was the model that they were always chatting with and the new model doesn't understand them so openai has made an effort to bring it back and in this video i'm going to show you how you can get those models back and which new gpt5 model you should use for what kind of use case first of all i'm a plus user so if you're not a plus user you may not see this so this is like the bare minimum if you're a paid user you would see whatever i'm showing you right now so there if you just go to the toggle here you would see three different models the auto model, which is uh, you don't have to specify what is the mode that you want the model to think, whether it should think short, think long and all those things. So OpenAI has got a model router in place and the model router will decide whether you should, uh, whether the model should take your request and then think longer, think shorter, whatever it has to do. So I'm going to just select auto and then give a very simple prompt. So what is the currency? conversion um, between USD and INR today. And uh, this is ideally something that would require web search. So, but I think the model is, yeah, the model is quite fast. Like you can see GPT-5 is quite fast. It gave me the links and then it is giving me for August 13th, what is the search result? And this is good. Now, if you don't want the model to decide what it should do, but you want rather to decide like whether you want longer thinking, then you can select the thinking model. So you can either select auto, you want like very fast instant answers, just like GPT-40, then you can select fast or you can select thinking. Now, these are the three options that are primarily GPT-5 options. So none of these are older models, all these three options, auto, fast, thinking, all these three options are primarily GPT-5. Now, if you have got pro, let's say you're really, really rich and paying a lot of money to open AI, then Pro is the best model that you want to use right now. So if you are try trying to use Pro, then you can get the best tasks done with Pro. And I've heard a lot of people saying Pro is way league above the other set of models that OpenAI has released in part of GPT-5. Now, the legacy model that they have released is GPT-40. So by default, GPT-40 is available under the legacy models tab if you're a paid user. But if you're not a paid user, you might have to enable it from the settings. Either way, GPT-40 is back. One model that is not back at all is GPT-4.5 because OpenAI said that requires a lot of compute, a lot of GPU to run. So it is available only for pro users. But if you want O3, which was my favorite model until they decided to do this complete shenanigan. So if you want O3, if you want like older models, how can you get it? You can go to the settings. And in the settings, you can select settings here and uh, you can see that show additional models. So when I select show additional models and come back and then see here, you can see in the legacy models, I'm going to see GPT-40, GPT-4.1, O3, O4 mini. And even in this menu, you can see that I've suddenly got thinking mini. So now my auto is between these three models, the fast thinking mini, and thinking. Thinking is like O3, thinking mini is like O3 mini, and fast is like GPT-40. So that's kind of the mental model that you should have. Or you can see that OpenAI has given like different reasoning levels. So this thinks longer, this thinks shorter, this hardly thinks at all, like, like just gives you instant answer. So once again, go to settings, profile, settings, show additional models. If you don't have this, then you would see only three models here, auto, fast, thinking, if you're a paid user, and the legacy models, you would see GPT-40. But if you're a paid user, then you go to settings and uh, show additional models. And at this point, you can see that it has auto, fast, thinking mini, thinking, and under the legacy models, you can see 40, 4.1, 03, 04 mini. I'm a big fan of 03, so I'm going to use 03 a lot. So this is the way you can bring back legacy models or the models that OpenAI deprecated before they launched GPT-5. Another interesting information is that if you want to use ChatGPT, if you're a paid user, you want to use ChatGPT for a programming task or any long context task, then you should use thinking model because thinking model within ChatGPT plus or ChatGPT.com 
comes with 196,000 token context window. So the model that you want to be using for long context, the model you want to be using for coding related task is thinking model because the model is really good for coding and also long context. So don't use the fast, don't use the thinking mini for coding related tasks, just use thinking. I think there is some sort of rate limit. It's like 3000 messages per week. So it should be fairly like comprehensive if you're using this. The final thing is you can use Codex, OpenAI Codex with ChatGPT login. And uh, that should ideally give you the opportunity to try out GPT-5 with Claude Code kind of CLI. I hope this tutorial was giving you a comprehensive detail about what has happened with the GPT-5 and how you can bring back older models and what kind of things you can do. If you have got any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.